And now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. Talking spring softball, the Bernie Lady Mules 2-0, Oran playing its first game of the season. And as Luke Randall reports, one team dominated the stat sheet. High school spring softball, Bernie and Oran tied at one in the second, but Oran brings strength in hitting. Coming home, Sophie Bryans. Her first hit of the day just moments ago. Hey, she gets inspired and goes three for three. It builds me really high. Like, it makes me feel good, and then I'm not so nervous. Like, I can just go up there and, like, be myself and just hit the ball. Bernie gets some stops, however. The Lady Mules able to keep this close, and now they're in position to tie the game, but an out. They're unable to capitalize. Thanks to Oran's outfield, pitcher Molly Spain speaking on her team's performance. When they came out, they made every play. I, I was so thankful, it, like, we, and we ran the bases well. We did everything. The game remained close, but an error here would prove to be costly, and in the sixth inning, Four runs for the Eagles. They win eight to one in their season opener and the seniors reflect on what's gonna be their final season together as a group. Um, it's a big year. We have four of us seniors and we're all so excited because we've been here, we've been playing all four years and we wanna keep it going with the winning seasons and do good and teach the freshmen everything. Oh, I'm so excited I get to go through with my friends. I'm excited because we're stronger this year. We came out, we looked good first practice. We were so excited, everyone's ready to go. Big win for Coach Jim Eftink's team. Thank you, Luke, for that story. And the Eagles, they look like they could be really good this year. Meanwhile, former longtime Major League star Curtis Granderson will be on the Hall of Fame ballot next year. Granderson will also be making an appearance in Cape Girardeau next month. The former MLB star and one of the most respected players in the Major Leagues over the past few decades will be the star at the Swing in the Spring event Saturday, April 27th at the Cape Girardeau Sportsplex. All proceeds from the event will go to the Cape Girardeau Parks and Recreation Foundation and the Porch Initiative. There will be a VIP meet and greet uh, with Curtis Granderson at 5.30, followed by a full general admission program with Granderson from 7 to 9. You can purchase tickets online through the City of Cape or in person at the Cape Sportsplex. Meanwhile, the 14th seated Oakland uh, Golden Grizzlies pull out the upset of the tournament so far over the Kentucky Wildcats. Uh, the 14 seed beating a three. I can't use highlights, not allowed until all the, the games are complete. But boy, I got to tell you, uh, kind of a shocker to me. Uh, Oakland out of Michigan, they played a fantastic game. 32 points from Jack Golke and Coach John Calipari in Kentucky he said, these guys just didn't have their best game, and he credited Oakland as well for the win.